Well, when we think of a seat post, we think of something that's not something that will give us performance or will add to our riding experience. We just think, oh, it's a seat post, and we put a seat on it, and then we just sit on that seat. And we put more emphasis on the actual seat than on the seat post. We go, oh, this seat, you know, is more comfy than this seat. But when you look at the angle and the point of where that seat needs to be, the seat post actually has a big factor in that. So let's roll our intro and let's have a bit of a discussion about seat posts and where the industry is going with seat posts. Well, first of all, one of the biggest problems, and I've had a few aero bikes, and I've even got one now, which is a Look 695, and that has a proprietary seat post which is a bit like the giants where it's integrated into the bike and only the top part sits in and it has a rubberized suspension system so i know if i damage that seat post i'm going to have a bit of an issue trying to get it because the bike's an older design and i'll have to hunt around the internet to try and pick one up and this is one of the disadvantages i knew that going into the purchase and I had to justify that against like the the price the ticket price that was on the bike which was very very good it was it was pretty much 60 percent off the new price of when it was released so it was a very very big discount but it does have some issues and that seat post has actually given me some issues i had a lot of troubles trying to get it to stay in position and i only just had to readjust it again and you have to use carbon paste and that's the other thing as well if i want to travel with that bike i know it's going to be a real pain in the neck because of the 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 proprietary seat post you take it out and there's still some bits sticking up then you have to use a bigger box then you have to wrap it because you've got all this like this carbon paste you have to you know you don't want it getting over everything you have to wrap it and then once you get to the other end you find that that's all come off on the rag or whatever it is you wrapped it in, and you have to put on some more so it's a yeah, you can still do it, but it's it's another level of complexity that you have when you want to travel with your bike. Well, seat posts in these days seem to be different on almost every single bike. In the old days where we had the 26mm or the 32mm seat posts, those bikes are becoming rarer and rarer, especially in the top end bikes. We're having a lot of these proprietary seat posts where the seat post is now becoming a design of the bike and they they basically justify this by aero gains and all sorts of things but those sorts of seat posts really have a lot of compromises and that's what i'd like to cover in this video now the other issue that we have with a aero or proprietary seat post generally you can't turn them around you can't get zero offsets a little bit of an offset or a full offset and with generic ones generally that's not so hard to do you can pick them up pretty easy but with a proprietary one even if they do make different seats it can be pretty hard to get especially if the model is out of production and you're struggling to get the seat post that you want because you want to have a different a different setback on the seat post so it's pretty hard to get the product you want and this is why these proprietary seat posts can be a real pain in the neck and if you can't get your seat in the right position like with mine i've got to push right forward i really should have a more forward set or slide set or zero set seat post which i haven't got then i could actually have my seat fitted on the seat properly but at the moment it's actually outside of the specifications of the railing and really that's not ideal so it's something that you need to consider when you're buying these bikes with proprietary seat posts and unfortunately we're getting less of the of bikes that are now available with the standard type generic seat posts so this is a big issue so leave your comments down below guys because you know are you into these new aero seat posts with these clamps at the front and they have a and they they actually don't even brace after all the years they've had these aero seat posts they're still using this wedge system they always slip man especially if you're a bit of a heavier guy and they're just a pain in the neck you know if you don't get that car 
carbon paste on there, they just don't stay in place and they slip and then they scratch and nice paint, especially with if the seat post is lacquered or, or, had, or is painted on some of the brands, then you've got a scratch seat post and you've just spent, you know, your $10,000 US. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it and I'll catch you.